Hey guys, it's Sarah again, back with another uh, Turkish spindle tutorial. This time it is winding a temporary cup on your Turkish spindle. Um, so you can see here, I've been doing the neat God's Eye wind on, and I've got a pretty good sized little turtle going here, and it's probably about a quarter of an ounce. Um, and what I've done is I have spun about five or six makes and I've butterflied them onto my fingers. And in my last video I showed you doing the butterfly over your pinky and your first finger. This time I chose to do it around my pinky and my middle finger. Um, it gives me a little bit of extra um, ability to use my first finger and thumb as an anchor for winding on. You can technically do a butterfly over any fingers you want um, as long as it goes in the figure eight pattern. Um, you can technically do it over your ring and pinky. It would just be very small. So basically what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the temporary cup on a Turkish spindle because sometimes you're not in a position to really wind on neat. It does require a, a little bit of concentration and you know you may be going out for a walk or you may be in a really in-depth conversation with your friends or your family so you want to just keep spinning because that doesn't take all that much concentration but the wind on does require a little bit of attentiveness. So you can just spin, spin, spin wind on the temporary cup and then spin some more and keep going and then when you are in a place where you can spend the time to do the neat wind on you can do that at that point so what you do is you know you get your make and instead of you know doing the following the lines of the over two under two what you're going to do is you're just going to turn the spindle and spin it and just wind to single up the shaft just like a support spindle or a top whirl or bottom whirl drop spindle really um, just storing the singles on the shaft just like this and then when you come to the end of your single we're gonna pretend that right here is the end of my single you just go under one of the arms and secure your half hitch and you are ready to spin again and make another make and then once you've spun the make you just pop off your half hitch go out from underneath of the arm and wind on some more it's really a lot easier to do this if you put the bottom tip of your spindle on your belly or your leg or someplace where it can rest I'm kind of at a really bad angle here but if I come down and spin you can actually do it pretty quickly when you support it. But my table is just making it all slidey. Um, so you just keep spinning and then go underneath of the arm. Just right un And any arm is fine. You can even just flip it around and go underneath of the whole cop. Or you can go around the shaft and come back up. Really just as long as it's anchoring somewhere, you're fine. And then just re-half hitch and spin again. Spin. Pop your half hitch off and keep going. Um, when I was first spinning on a Turkish spindle, I always did a temporary cop because I found it much faster for me to spin the singles um, than it was for me to actually wind on the singles. So I would probably I don't know, spin for about a half an hour um, and wind all of the singles on the shaft like this and again half hitch, spin, unhalf hitch, wind on and because this is temporary it doesn't have to be tight, it doesn't have to be neat, it just has to store your spindles that or your singles, that's it. So you can do it like this where you actually wrap like I said however you want to do it and can get it done is fine and then when you're ready to 
wind on correctly, or not correctly, but neatly, let's say, you just do your butterfly, and while you're butterflying, just let it flick off the tip like a support spindle. And it's going to spin and it's going to flop and maybe a towel or a carpet is better if you're worried about damaging the wood of your spindle. Um, but once you get back to an empty shaft, you can wind on the right way and make it look all nice and neat. If you're doing a ball wind on, you probably don't need to use the temporary cup because the ball wind on that is in my other video is so fast that it would probably be counterproductive to do a temporary cup. But you can see I've got my butterfly back over my first finger and my pinky. And from here you are ready to what are you doing? wind on again. What are you doing? I'm doing a video to help people. Is that okay? And, that, and that's it. So if you guys have any questions about this or need some clarification, just uh, let me know. Again, my Ravelry name is Mrs. Flick, and you can message me there, or you can leave me a message in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Bye.